This is Afternoon Sports Slay with the Queen, Micah K. Now, remember, I'm doing this for the love of the game. Listen, this is a big deal. This is history. This is legendary. We are at the Crunk Gym right now. We got a big major fight. It's going to be at Wayne State Fieldhouse in Detroit. We got a rising star by the name of DeVale Smith. Okay, DeVale, so how are you feeling today? I'm feeling, I'm feeling great, feeling ready to fight. Okay. How does it feel? You know, this is definitely history, too, because the fight is going to be in Detroit. What does that mean to you at this moment in time? It means everything to me. We we on the come up. We getting our respect back to the city, to the whole state of Michigan as well. So it feel good. So you heard them, Slayers and Slayettes. You already know what time it is. We on the come up. We got that juice. We about to bring that heat. Detroit is coming. So do you agree with people when they say, oh, okay, DeVille kind of remind me of Thomas Hitman Herms. And if you do agree with that, what skill set do you feel like or what simul similarities do you share with him? Uh, I feel like we got a lot of similarities, especially the right hand. I go anywhere. I knock somebody out with my right hand. They say I look like Tommy. Um, we the same and different at the same time, but it's a it's an honor to be compared to a great champion like Tommy. Absolutely. So Deville, I gotta ask you. You know, also I love to know, like as far as picking the boxer's brain, who is your goal? I love, love, love Muhammad Ali. Since I first started, I did reports on him in school and all kinds of things like that. I looked into him the most. I like the way he moved around the ring, work his jab, his defense, his head movement, all of that. He started the goat debate. You know what I'm saying? So. Absolutely. You know, we love somebody like Muhammad Ali, especially somebody that gives you that, you know, just exudes greatness at all times, hard work and dedication. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. So how has your work life balance been since having a child? Um, It's pretty much just juggling things that I got to take care of. Uh, go to work, come home, take care of the baby a little bit, then shoot straight to the gym, come back home, put the baby to sleep, things like that. So does that, you know, having that child too, because a lot of people say when they have a child, does it give you that extra motivation? And in what areas does it give you that, you know, increase the motivation? Uh, the area give me motivation is uh, he watching me. He watching everything that I'm doing, even now. Like he in the gym, he's smiling, he see me work hard. It make me feel good. And one day he can look back on that and he'll be like, my dad always worked hard towards whatever he did. So I'm going to work hard too. Absolutely. We love that because we know it's all about sacrifice, you know, having a child, having your family, having your lovely girl with you as well, everything working together. So, you know, Slayers and Slayettes, listen, you see the veil. It's about hard work, dedication. You got to really put the time in. Understand that. So, DeVille, without giving out, you know, too much of your, you know, your secret sauce, your secret juice, what's one of your punches where you feel like uh, put your opponent to sleep so they'll, you know, go night night? The right hand. The right hand. They all go down to the right hand. I have power in both my hands, though, so if I can get them out there with an uppercut, body shot, something like that, they're going to go down. Okay, so listen, Slayers and Slayers, you heard it here first. DeVille said he got that heat in that right hand. Night, night time, you already know what time it is, Slayers and Slayers. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You got to be on the lookout for him. So, you know, in one of your most recent fights that happened last year in June, I saw that you, you know, took your opponent out. I believe it was like that left body shot, then like a left head shot. How do you predict this fight is going to um, go, this upcoming fight? I predict the dominant performance from DeVille Smith. It's just I'm going to go in there, work on my skills, just work on things that I'm good at, and uh, just take it from there, just go with the flow. So usually in boxing, when you're going out there predicting knockouts, looking for the knockouts, going for the KO, it, most of the time it don't end up happening because, you know, it's just how it is. <laughs> So, you know, since it's like the second, it's still, you know, February, a lot of people had New Year's resolutions. I always like to ask boxers, too, you know, still the beginning of the year of 2024, do you have any long or short-term goals that you would like to accomplish as a professional boxer this year? Well, this year is a big year for me. Uh, I'm looking to really make a big buzz in the, in the, in the boxing game right now. So taking it one fight at a time and by the end of the year everybody gonna know the name DeVille Smith out of the crunk gym okay so Slayers and Slayettes you heard it here first he said you will know his name remember the name okay also DeVille what's a fun fact about yourself that you might not have told anybody you know give us the exclusive at <laughs> with afternoon sports slay what's something that you haven't let your supporters maybe know that you maybe could let us in on I'm an all-around athlete 
I like to do any sports you could think of. I swim, basketball, football, soccer. I play some hockey. I do. I do it all. Okay, okay, that sound that sound great. You love all different type of sports. So I gotta ask you though, Devel. So once you get this W in the city and you put on for the city, what is gonna be your go to meal afterwards? I know it's like something you like. Oh my God, I just have to have. Usually I go with like some chicken Alfredo with the shrimp in it, or I go to like a steakhouse and just go crazy or after it's really after weigh-ins after weigh-ins is when it all go down i'm at golden corral eating everything i can till i can't eat no more okay okay sound good i know listen i can't wait till you win and then you get that good meal that you wanted now the last question i gotta ask you is what sep you know what separates you from your others upon from other opponents because i heard you know you speak about the iq and i'm real big on a boxer's iq and how they make their adjustments in the ring so what what attribute you would say like okay this is what separates me from my opponents like you said my ring iq my ring generalship and the way i know how to adjust to opponents you can't go in there being a one-dimensional fighter uh you can get you can hit a wall you might have to switch it up and do something else and i feel like i'm pretty good in every aspect of the game inside outside move around the ring put pressure whatever whatever it takes to get the w i can do it Okay, Slayers and Slayers, excuse me, DeVille. So you heard it here first. He's letting you know he's versatile. He can get you with the right, the left. He can adjust. He has a high IQ. His ring generalship is on point. So be looking out. DeVille Smith, listen, February 20th in the city, Detroit, legendary history. It's the Queen, Micah K. It's DeVille Smith, and I'm out.